Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, The Tech Piano Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille. What is up everyone, The Tech Piano Player Kid here. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing a interesting device from GoV, I think that's how you pronounce it, G-O-V-E-E, -E, GoV, it's a smart space heater. Now I got this actually because, um, just to keep my room a little bit warmer, because sometimes, you know, the air doesn't flow all the time the right way, if that makes sense, um, because of the heater in the house itself. So I decided to get something like that, and it's very easy to set up. The app could use a little more work, so GoV, if you ever listen to this, please fix that so it's more accessible for iPhone users who use voiceover. And if it's on Android or Samsung, make it also more accessible for those because to me, it's a little bit weird. And when you change the temperature where it's supposed to go to, like where it's supposed to stop, it goes by percentage. So let's say that by 64%. Well, if it's at 64%, it shows it as 74 degrees, for instance. Personally, I think for me, that's a little bit confusing. Now on the screen, it may show something different, but for voiceover users, it doesn't do that. So yeah. But once everything's set up, you can just use your Amazon devices to change the temperature and stuff like that. And so, yeah, it's already all connected. So we don't have to go through the process of <laughs> doing that because that was a little bit of a hassle, so to speak. So let's go and jump to it and I'll go and show you the device and we'll check it out. All right, everyone. So here's the heater right here. Um, this is the top of it. Um, you can see the buttons, I think. They're not really buttons. They're kind of like touch buttons does that makes sense like they're indentation of as though there are buttons but they're not actual buttons you press they're just like senses sense but sense, sense buttons personally i don't like those because you can actually hit something wrong and then you'll it just doesn't weird but essentially you can't really mess this up um to per se so if you actually hit the button where you change the timer you just press and hold that until it beeps and then it cancels it um same thing with the power button. So you press and hold it, turn it off. And then when it beeps, it does that. Um, if you're going to lock it, you can press and hold the most right button. And you can do that. I have it turned off right now. So I'm going to put this like that. This is the front of it. So you can see the... Let's see here. You can see the um, the vent where the, the air comes out. And then... Oh, let me turn this around here like this. This is the back of the heater. Now, why am I showing you this? Because A, there's a switch back here. Number two, there's a filter. And there's a little thing right there. And then this is the actual filter itself. They say if you wash this, use it. I think they said that use warm water. And then make sure it's dry completely before you put it back in because it can mess up the electronics and stuff like this. So once it's done, you just insert it back in. And then you snap it back into place. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the switch. And it's already connected to my Amazon devices. Because once you have it connected through the app, you can open the Amazon Alexa app. I said her name a little bit differently because I don't want her to activate. <laughs> and you can use the um, GoV smart speed, smart um, GoV um, skill. There's two of them. I don't know which one's you have to have to look at which one's the correct one. But once you link your account, uh, you have to have an account. Well, this obviously did to do this. Um, the signing process is a little bit tedious because the app is not really accessible, as I said. So again, Gobi, please fix that um, for voiceover uses because I had a tough time getting around the app, for at least for me. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get try not to touch the buttons, actually. First, actually, first I'm going to just lock this. Um, come on. Why isn't it doing anything? Okay, maybe it's the middle one? Yep, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So, I have it locked. Um, so, if it keeps beeping, it's because I'm touching it. So, this one's the power button on the left. Um, yes, I know it's locked. Uh, if, if you press it once, it turns it on. I'm not sure. I think it turns it on by default on low. So if you press it once, it'll go to medium and high, but 
There's no way of doing it, so that's why I'm using my Amazon device to do this. But if you want to turn it off completely, you can just press and hold it until it beeps, and then it will turn off. The middle one is your lock button, and I believe that's also the oscillation button. That means it turns left and right um, to blow the air like other you know fans would do that. Um, you can press it again to turn it off. Uh, if you press and hold that button, it locks it, and then press and hold it again and unlocks it. And then the right button changes the time. So like one hour, two hours, four hours, eight hours, I think is how it goes um, until it turns off. Or you can press and hold it and to beep it and it cancels that timer. Or you can use your echoes to um, use that as well. So let's go and unlock it. Yeah, I know, I know. Be patient. There we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up here because this air is, gets very hot easily. So I'm gonna press the power button once. Boom, turns on. And right now it's an oscillation, but I'm gonna turn this off. So right now you can actually, I don't know if it's easier. No, I'll just I'll do it on top, what the heck. Um, so right now it's off, so I'll press the middle button once. You can see it's turning very slowly. Maybe. There it goes. It's going very slow. You can do that. So if I want to stop it, I just tap it. There we go. Let's go over here. And then I can actually type, or type, press this right button once to change between the um, hours at once. And if I don't want that, I can just press and hold that. If I want to change the speed, I can change, why is it doing that? I think what's happening is, yeah, it does that. So when it's just running, it runs on low. I think it's just a safety thing, I guess. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you something really cool about this thing. This actually has a feature, a safety thing where if it tips over, it shuts off. Not, not right away, because it has to, um, it has to, um, you know, cool down to let the wind off. But basically, that's the safety feature. So it does that. At the same time, your um, phone, you can have your phone notify you and say, hey, your heater tipped over, you know, try, you know put it upright. So I'm going to do a couple of tests here and obviously press it to turn it back on. And then we'll try it with the Amazon device to turn it back on while it's on, while it's on the floor because it shouldn't do this. Um... So we'll try it. So let's pretend that I come over and boom, it falls. And it just clicked. It realized, oh, okay. It's uh, on the floor. And then it should shut off here. There we go. It shut off. Now, if I come over here and try to press it and turn it on, it won't work. And I'll do it this way. Echo, turn on bedroom heater. Okay. See, it still turns on. Personally, I don't like that. So it does that, and it shouldn't be doing that. So I'm going to turn this off. Oops. There we go. So, yeah, actually, let me just turn this off this way. There you go. So, Gobi, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here, but personally, it shouldn't be activating when the heater's on the floor. Like, if it just got tipped over and you want to reactivate it, it won't. It shouldn't let you do that. It should say something, like, it should give you an error beep or something like that. That's what I think. Um, maybe it does it. Maybe it doesn't do that. I don't know. But, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Amazon device to do this. So that's number one thing. Um, so Echo, turn on bedroom heater. Okay. There we go. Turns on. Echo, turn off bedroom heater in 10 seconds. Okay, so... She'll turn it off in 10 seconds. They said this is really cool about this. Okay. 
There we go. Um, you can also do, let me turn it back on here. Let's just do that. There we go. Echo. Actually, cancel. Cancel. Alexa. Turn on oscillation. There you go. She turned it on. And then I could say, actually, I'm like, let me make, I'll wait until she turns back here. Alexa, turn off oscillation. Um, let's see. Echo, or cancel. Alexa, what's the bedroom temperature? So 73.2 degrees. Um, and then Alexa, Alexa, turn off bedroom here. And there you go. No. Number one, I don't even have lights in here that you can do that. So, yeah, that wouldn't work anyway. Um, so, anyway, that's that. So, um, that's just a little review on that. Um, so, let's go back um, to my main audio rec recording place and we'll go ahead and continue from there. All right. So, some things I like about the heater. Number one, you can use your Amazon device to control it. Pretty much anything. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you can also set up routines when it turns on. You can also set it to, to turn off after a certain temperature or after a certain temperature, it turns back on. That's what I have it set to. And then you can also choose when those routines run. So I have it set mine to from starting from 8 a.m. and turning off at 9 p.m. for the routines, if that makes sense. Now, a couple things. The tip over feature is pretty cool or uh, turn off after tip over, whatever it's called. Again, that's basically like if the heater gets knocked over or tipped over, it shuts off. However, you can always turn it back on even if it's tipped over with your Amazon device. I think that's not good because if someone tried to do that and they think, oh, it'll be fine, it's not going to be okay because number one, that can cause a fire. Number two, it can damage the heater itself. So just a heads up on that if you ever get one of those. So go be again, if you listen to this, please fix that. But I do like the fact you can actually set up the temperature and stuff with this. Uh, it's a very interesting heater. It's pretty basic, you know, not very complicated. It doesn't have like 30,000 buttons on it. it. Just has three buttons. It shows you how to pair it. Uh, it took me a while to figure out which model it was because there was no way of knowing because there's like hundreds of different models. I think this was the HS7130, I think. But yeah, it's a pretty cool device. The recommendations are don't plug into a power strip just for safety reasons. Same thing with an extension cord. So plug it directly into a wall outlet. I mean, you probably will be okay if you plug it into a power strip, but I just follow the instructions because you just you just don't never know. You just never know. So I just did that and plug it into directly into a wall outlet because it pulls a lot of power from that thing. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good heater. Generates a lot of heat. <laughs> so yeah, you can also tell your Amazon device to put it on high, low, medium, depending on what it's on. If you're just running it, then obviously it won't do it because it doesn't allow automatically. I think it's a safety thing. But if you're running it for like, let's say, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes, then you could probably could do it then and then put it on high if you want or medium or whatever. The routines are pretty cool as well, but that is the Govee Smart Space Heater. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. For questions, please send an email to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give a call or text at 913-312-1325. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. Black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille then fades to black.